everyone it's me Kathy and welcome back so this is like spirit guides part three um, Miss Dragonfly brought up an excellent point she talked about like you know what sort of precautions a person should take uh, when trying to do any kind of work with their spirit guides so I didn't cover that in my video uh, and I'm sorry for for not covering that um, I just think with the the stuff that happened like the the light dimming and my printer went on and off like four times and everything freezing up and and then it was okay because see what happened is I recorded about 20 minutes of video and then I spliced it I cut it in half and then I was editing that and then when the first half um, the first like part one or whatever is when I um, when I played it back and heard that real bizarre voice <laughs> and then had a you know edit part two and, and whatnot so um, it just you know I was kind of thinking about what had happened with the light and the printer and the voice and, and all that jazz so yeah anyway um, it, she mentioned a really good point she like I said talked about precautions but people do and whatnot so um, for myself I um, I wear a protector 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, and it's just what I do. The only time I don't have it on is like when I'm in the shower or whatnot. But um, mine's always with me, and uh, that offers a lot of protection. So if you haven't watched the videos on how to make a protector, I would just recommend you know go check out those videos. I discuss protectors and I show you guys how to actually make one what's all in it that kind of thing and um, those offer a lot of real strong personal protection so I have that and then you know I do incorporate things like you know smudging and cleansing and, and blessing areas and things like that now when I do like automatic handwriting I don't necessarily um, feel the need to smudge the paper or the pen or my area or whatever when I'm doing that. Um, I can if I want to and sometimes I do but um, sometimes I don't. I just, you know, tap into that and uh, take it from there because I'm already wearing um, my protection, right? Um, and it's really important to protect yourself at all times. And what I had been told was the more we learn and the more we expand our knowledge base and you know things like that um, it's like levels you know it's you know you learn one level of protection and then you move on to the next level and you know and then something else will come along and then you gotta learn how to do something a little bit stronger and it's just kinda like these levels and just learning new techniques and and things like that and um, so, you know, I wear my protector <laughs> at all times. And if you feel the need, like, I mean, you could cast the circle if you wanted to. You could uh, smudge your room or wherever you are. Or you could sprinkle about, like, holy water. Or you could use sea salt. Or, you know, put protection around your room and your home. Um, things like that. If you feel the need to do that okay and um, when it comes to like guided meditations and whatnot um, again if you have any type of special talisman or you know it, smudging um, have some sort of protective incense burning whatever um, you know if it makes you feel safer or whatnot then use it definitely um, but like I said I, I wear mine all the time so uh, I already have that uh, protection with me and I didn't mention that in the video um, and I do apologize for that uh, there are um, some videos I've made in the past and um, think of it like an onion okay like there was video one and then video two and then they all kind of overlap one another and and you know and so for some folks that maybe have just uh, come to my channel and they're starting with my roast, most uh, recently um, posted videos and they're working their way back, maybe they haven't gotten to those other videos yet. So there's some things that I'll mention in there and um, 
I tend to always stress, you know, the importance of, you know, doing cleansing and, you know, blessing things and, you know, sealing them, making sure that um, no negative energy can come through. Uh, like when I talked about, like, spirit boards, Ouija boards, that type of thing, I, you know, stress, you know, it's important to cleanse it important to seal it so that negative energies don't go through and I've never had anything freaky or bad happen um, with my spirit boards uh, I've had some really good information come through <laughs> and uh, and stuff and uh, it was very accurate and sure enough you know it's what happened and um, yeah so yeah, I think that uh, for anybody who uses any type of divination tool and whatnot, uh, I would hope that if you have taken the responsibility on to have tools like that, that you would properly care for them. And that includes, you know, cleansing them, um, making sure that, you know, no negative energy to come, can come through them. And, um, you know, whether it's a scrying mirror or Ouija board or spirit board or, you know, pendulums, tarot cards, oracle cards, whatever it is, that, you know, you take care of that tool, you cleanse it, you make sure it's uh, protected and nothing negative to come can come through. So then the onus is really on the person, you know, who's implementing that tool. So if I do make a passing reference about, you know, using, um, you know, suggesting to use uh, different types of uh, divination tools. I'm um, coming from that mindset that, you know, if you've taken the responsibility to use a tool like that, that you would properly care for it and, you know, make sure that, you know, no negative energy can uh, come through that, okay? Because um, it is a responsibility. You know, uh, nowadays it's so easy to um, come across tarot cards and, you know, things like that. Um, but at one time, like, it wasn't that easy, and sometimes, uh, well, it seems like everybody now these days has, you know, oh, yeah, I've got this deck, or I've got that deck, or, yeah, i got some rune stones, i got this, and i got that. Um, whereas at one time, those were things that uh, it took a long time to earn them, you know, uh, I'm thinking about the people that used to throw throw the bones, you know, and divine the bones. Or, you know, at one time they were the people that were in the temples or they were the, the shamans of the village or the tribe or whatever that would, like, divine the future with certain symbols and whatnot. Um, and it wasn't anybody or everybody that had these tools. And they revered them and they looked after them and take, took care of them. And um, I think that's important for people to remember these days. You know, yes, our cards are made out of paper and, you know, they got wonderful colors on them and whatnot, but there's still the tool um, and the rune stones, or some people use uh, other sorts of divination tools and whatnot. Uh, it's really important to take care of those. Uh, the, the spirit, the, the oracle and whatnot has. Um, been around for a very 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 long time and you know spans the globe with regards to divination tools that you know have been found all over and and whatnot and it's just really important to honor and respect that and to make sure you know that you really do take care of them so that's my little blurb on that so uh yeah if you feel the need by all means you know you can make yourself a protector if you don't want to that's fine you can anoint yourself with uh holy oil or water plus you could smudge yourself you can like layer on the protective layers if you will you could do that then you can maybe cleanse your room and you know put protection around in your room you could do it around your home or wherever you're doing this you can cast the circle you, you know there's all different ways so go with what feels right for you and if you feel you need a lot of protection then you know you can add two three different things and take it from there uh, personally I uh, my protector is uh, fairly strong and uh, it's usually pretty much all I need I do uh, do things like smudge and whatnot and um, 
you know I'll have like sage water baths and you know things like that for cleansing and whatnot and we're coming up to the end of this video so I'm gonna say ciao for now ciao okay this is uh, part two of my video <laughs> and well I guess it would be part four but yeah um, when it comes to uh, protection and things like that, you, that's what you can do. Yeah. Stop.